Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to some video, and today this will be sort of a general introduction to the 3 inch build that I will be doing pretty soon coming up on the channel, and just sort of a little bit of information on 3 inch in general. So let's just get right into the parts that I chose. So first up here with the frame, we have the Hyper Baby, and now this is from Pyroflip RC. And if you look, it actually is a little 3 inch Stretch X frame. So if we put um, props, you can see the distance between them is quite far, front to back, and then side to side it is smaller. That'll give us more distancing for less prop wash and a little better handling. And now the frame itself is 3 millimeter carbon. And it comes weighing in at with um, all these standoffs and top plate. Obviously, you don't need to use those um, at about 37 grams. And then you add this little TPU camera uh, mount there, and it comes into 42 and a half grams. So a pretty decently light frame there, and it's going to be very, very strong and durable. I predict three millimeter car carbon. Um, it's all single main plate. I don't have, don't think you should have any issues with that on something this light for a three inch build. I think that's going to be super durable. In terms of the carbon quality, it's pretty decent. It's okay. It's definitely not the best. Some of the cuts, um, you can't really see it on camera that much, but some of the cuts um, have a little bit of burring and there's dust on the edges. But, you know, overall, it's a $40 frame. I think it's definitely a very good choice. So next, on to the motors here. These are the Brother Hobby Tornado T1 motors. Um, these are the 1407 3600 kV. I don't think that's going to show up there, but these are pretty much the motor of choice for 3 and 4 inch. I've seen all around. I was going to get the um, Hyperlite editions, which are basic. They're the exact same motor. They're just in the blue and pink, but those um, those were out of stock, so I got these silver ones. And it being a 1407 motor, it's just an absolute powerhouse. And 3600 is a medium kV, so it can drive up to light 4 inch props and heavy 3 inch props. Got a few here but definitely pretty much the undisputed um, motor champ, so obviously that was a good choice to go with. The wires are also extremely long on these, which will fit easily even to some five inch builds if you're gonna use these to the middle of your frame for a four in one ESC, which is what we'll be doing in this build, so that's really nice. For the video system, I went with this um, Rush Racing here. This is a new video transmitter that I'll be testing that was sent in for review from Underground FPV. Um, it's actually switchable from zero, so pit mode, so it's um, not output anything, so you don't disrupt a race. 25 milliwatts, uh, was it 200 milliwatts and 500 milliwatts. 48 channels, it's stackable, which is nice. It can fit in your stack. And it has um, this little MCX connector on the back here. Basically, you can just plug it in. It's a lot more durable and solid than UFL, and you can do that. And you can plug in different antennas, something like a whip, if you want to save a lot of weight. It takes full voltage, filters um, the video, and sends 5 volt out to the camera directly, which this is nothing new. This is just the Runcam Swift Rotoriot Edition. Uh, comes pre-installed with the GoPro 2.5 lens. Pretty much my camera of choice. So that's the video package. Now for the flight controller, this is quite a bit more interesting. It's kind of sort of the star of the show. This is actually the KISS all-in-one board, the compact control. And now some people are going to dispute that this is not an all-in-one board because it does not include um, something like a video transmitter or an OSD. It is just the flight controller and the ESCs. But, you know, I think it's all-in-one enough. And it's my first, actually, my first ever KISS product. So that'll be pretty interesting. Uh, it just basically has four. Um, the KISS flight controller in there and then it has four 16 amp ESCs that are limited to 21 amp bursts on the edges. Like they're actually limited to 21 amps. That's why I went with 3 inch for this build because this some people do, do use this on 4 inch. Um, but I'd probably stick with 3 inch just to try this out. So that's very interesting and this is available from Prop City. So for the props, pretty much here I've just got the Rotorex 3040T. With This was um, my basically the king prop for a long, long time. Not sure if anything else has beat it out, but this will be, um, I'll be testing a bunch of different props. I've got the um, Racecraft 3076 prop here, which is brand new from Prop City as well to test out. So that'll be very interesting. I did try this on um, my other three inch build that I did a long time ago. That has Emax 1306 4000 kV motors on 4S. Um, and these did not perform well at all, but I'm hoping these motors with a lot more grunt and a little lower KV, these motors or these props should shine a lot better there. I also have the Lumineer 3040 triblade, which is a much fatter prop compared to some of the others. And from some um, bench testing and general flying, um, I've seen this to be quite good, so I'm very interested to try that out. 
as well as the Racecraft 3030 quad blade. I've heard this is a very good overall prop, um, very good for control, so I thought I'd give it, a, um, give it a try. Only a few bucks, so I'll be testing those different props there. I almost forgot, but uh, lastly, the battery I'll be running. These are some Bonka 4S 850mAh 75C versions that I have. A little bit heavy for a 3-inch. It's an 850 4S, but, you know, probably a 600 4S would be better, but then you might be, you know, not having enough amps for the capacity. So I find these to be a, a very good all-around general battery for 3-inch. So 3-inch certainly might not be the most desirable class for you. I mean, it's definitely not going to lift as much weight as a 4 or 5-inch or 6-inch. It's definitely, most likely, <laughs> not going to be as fast. You know, it might be a little bit cheaper, but I wouldn't really consider the price that much. The, the stuff is cheaper, but not that much. If you're going on price, just save a little bit longer and get yourself a 5-inch if you want that. But I think just in general, the smaller platform, it's just so small, you'll be able to go through a lot smaller gaps, probably feel more confident in a tight space I've noticed that with my other three inch and just three inch this this size is freaking cool so yeah that was just a quick overview of all the parts I will be using testing and trying for you um, in a few upcoming videos the build videos will be coming first and then I'll have specific videos on probably these props for sure I'm not sure if I'll do specific videos for these two um, and this kiss and um, rush video transmitter will also get their specific videos um, but I'm very interested to try these motors out, and just in general, I think this is going to be a really fun quad. And let me know down in the comments below if these are any of your favorite parts, or if you're interested in it, or if you have a different part that you would have recommended instead. It's good to always share your opinions and what you had good experiences with. So please subscribe, stay tuned for the build videos, and I'll see you in the next one.